Hello everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to do a little fast frame project, a, a major scrap buster, a little show and tell, a couple of things for the craft show, and um, what I've been up to. So let's get started. I'm still uh, struggling with the ornament, but I've come up with another idea. I cannot cut through. This is using my mamagami, which is something I really wanted to incorporate into something. I really like the lace background, but I cannot cut through that many layers. So I bought a lace die. I decided that these need a lot more ornamentation. Um, so some more ribbon, probably a jewel brad in the center, and then I might be there. We'll see. <laughs> um, this is a little tea holder that I modified from the last one. It's kind of like a crayon box. I think it's very pretty. And then it has three tea envelopes and the little um, stickers for closing the envelopes. So I think that's very elegant and um, a nice gift idea. Okay, um, I have been experimenting with more paper because I have all of these cutoffs from my packaging material. So I have been um, making leather, which there's tons of tutorials on how to do this. I've been making leather with these scraps. Very, I've went, went and watched some videos on dyeing leather and things like that so that I could come up with uh, something to do with it, something to do with them. I came up with this little book. I think it would look very nice in leather. Self-closing book. But I didn't have time to make it yet. So that might be upcoming. Very easy. That's just the prototype. And I have been um, playing around more with the Mamagami. And I've come up with some beautiful texture pieces that still retain the softness of the Mamagami. And they kind of remind me of a brocade. So that might be in the near future. We'll see. Let me know if you're interested in any of that. I pr probably would not do a leather video because there are 10 million how to make leather. Um, I did not have glycerin. I did not use glycerin. Um, glycerin is an oil and I would not like an oil in my papers, so I don't use oil lotion for the mom, momagami, and I would use the starch before I would use any type of oil in my paper. And that's just personal preference. Um, oils 
can get rancid, <laughs> so I wouldn't want oils in my paper. So just a little shout out here. Um, thank you, Susan, for your kind comments. And a shout out that was very nice of you. You really made my day. A shout out to um, Candace at Journal Me Crazy. Prayers and thoughts to you for all you're going through. Um, pop over there and show her some love. And you can watch her video and get caught up on what is going on if you're interested. Uh, shout out to my friend in Canada. I hope you are quickly improving. And um, I've updated my website because I just don't have time to um, do that much work on it anymore. Um, posting video galleries of people who have used my papers, um, what's new, products, and all that. So it's more of a gallery style, and when I do one of these little crafts, I'll have craft show galleries, and then I will put a link on how to make them. Because I always try to give credit where I saw an idea, but since I'm not making these in a video, just showing them, you still might want to know how to make them, so I'm going to post a link to where I found to make them. Okay, among other things, what I've been, this video is a little late today. This week, I have been purging the craft room because it's driving me crazy. It really interferes with my creating when every single surface is around me is covered with paper. So I've come up with a little scrap buster and it is fast frames. And I've made a few here and I'm going to take my little scraps. These are very simple. I didn't decorate them very much but I'm going to do the frame and then I'm going to give you some ideas on how you might use them. So what you'll need, I'm using my stack of 4x4s from the specimen cards video where I cut up all my papers into different sizes when I get overwhelmed with paper and then I just went take the stack. <clears throat> so I'm using a 4x4 four four, and in the end that will give you about a two and a half or two and three quarters by two and three quarters frame and the inside is about an inch and a half by an inch and a half square. So they're very easy and you just Take your 4x4. Four four. The hardest part for me is getting the folds straight. And if it's going to bother you that you um, have a fold line there, just do a crosshair side to side, top to bottom. Okay? So then all you have to do is I'm going to line this up on my points to try to make sure I get my fold straight. And you fold this one up to the middle. And you fold this one down to the middle. Just make sure everything is straight here and that's a little off. See, I, I cannot fold a straight line. I cannot cut a straight line. That totally drives me crazy. 
I hope that improves and then you do the same to the other side I hope that someday I improve in that although I've seen other people like Harry the crafter who has been at it for years and he claims he still can't cut a straight line <laughs> So I don't know. I always think of my friend every time I'm cut trying to cut a straight line I think of my friend at the newspaper back in the days when you had to cut and paste. To um do your page layouts. She could cut a straight line like nobody's business. So every time I have to cut a straight line, I think of her. Okay. So I'm trying to make sure all my corners are pre mitered there, if you can see that. And then you have your four folds and then you're going to take this one and fold it up to the point and this one and fold it up to the point that well it's like I guess I should say the halfway mark. That one. And then make sure you can see your fold because that helps. And then you're going to fold those in. And there is your little frame. Okay. And at this point, I can tell <laughs> two of my folds are crooked. Oh, what a surprise. That drives me crazy. How, how, how is that not possible? Wait a minute. Okay, that looks better. Okay, let's try that. Okay, that one's so off. Okay, if I wasn't on camera, this would be going better because I whipped those other four out in no time or five or however many. Okay, that looks a little better. Maybe that paper wasn't exactly square. Okay. I'm just going to go to this one because <laughs> I know that one's perfect. Okay, so there's your frame. And I'll do another one here. Um, I want to try one of these. Let's see what happens. This is my... Um, oh, here's another thing I have to tell you. Make sure your paper is square. If you do these with a book page, it's really cool. I didn't have any decent book pages in for, around me. 
but if you get your image in the center and then because a book page is has a back and a front what's on the back will become the frame and then what you have in the center will be your what's framed so those are that's really cool if you have the right books just make sure your um, photo is in the center and then you can whip out book page frames okay and then I'm just going to give you some ideas on how you can embellish them See, I thought all these, and it would also be nice if you have a double-sided paper, some double-sided scrapbook paper. Why are you not coming out now? These papers must not be square. Gonna have a gap. Why is that gonna have a gap? Pretty sure I measured these right, and they're four by four. But you can do any. You can do any size. I didn't really try it with a rectangle, but I'm sure it can probably be done. Okay. See if we can get this one a little better. So remember, you're going to go to the half mark. I've spent the last three days purging this craft room because I just can't take it anymore. Clutter really interferes with my... Oh, that looks cool. See, I like pattern. I just have to get that corner fixed. I'm just going to pull it in there and squish it. Okay, that one's not too bad except for that fold there. It's crooked. Why am I crooked today? Okay, there we go. There's another little one. Okay. I like that because that comes from oddities because I like that type of look. This comes from transitions. Um, yeah, I did. I went these out in like, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> and I didn't have any problems. Of course, today I have problems. Okay. So I'm just going to give you the ideas of what you can put in here. And how you can decorate them. Okay, you can go the traditional route. Put your little specimen in there. Like that. You can take your little a little image, which that was not quite big enough. Little flowers, something like these. Cut these out. 
put them in there. Of course, I did the ones with the shoes. You can take your little lady face, put that those in there. And then I thought it might be kind of cool to do a collage in there, a mini collage. So I grabbed some tiles. I could stack some tiles in there. I have a little background. If you're so inclined, you could do tiny collages in there. Something like that. You can pop a flower in there. And you can let's see, I don't know where my little circle went. Decorate the uh, edges. Pop some little lace, little flower, decorate the corners, something like that, you know, a little fishtail, little snippet, whatever. That would be quite pretty. Um, yeah, you can. I don't have any offhand. You can run some labels along the sides, some little strip labels. You can run some words along the sides. And these all, these kind of came about because I do not like clusters. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but I just, I know clusters are a great scrap buster. But I just don't particularly like them, so I came up with this instead. And um, you know, they they could make a nice little. Where's my book? Nice little. I'm trying to see if I have a book here. No, I just have a pocket. Nice little corner on a page, little focal point on a page. You could, oh wait, I had another idea. Let me get a piece of string here. You could take your little piece of string, make a little loop. Glue that up under the top, and you could hang that, make it a hanging frame, hang that from a paper clip on the page or something, a little hang tag, something like that. So there's tons of uh, Tons of things you can do with these little frames. Very simple to make. You're using uh, four by four scrap, five by five scrap, six by six. Um, you're gonna have to play around to see if it can be done with a rectangle. I'm pretty sure it could be. And then you'll need your little back um, and everything you want inside and everything to decorate. So I think I'm just going to whip up a few of these here for the photo. And yeah, that's, that's what we have today. I don't know what I'm going to call this, but fast frames maybe.
that's what we have for today. Where are we? 26. Okay. <clears throat> I hope you didn't mind me not decorating, but I don't. You're going to be able to do these how you want. And again, just pay attention to your folding. Make sure your corners get mitered from the start. And then double check and make sure your images stay square. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it that I can think of. Okay, everyone. I'll see you next time. I, me again. I'm back. I forgot to um, say how to glue this down. <laughs> and I just took a little um, glue stick. And uh, went over those little points. And that's, whoops, that's pretty much how I um, just glued them together. Little dot of glue in the center. And that's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> that's probably important. And, um, uh, you know, of course, you can run a line of glue, whatever, but that's how I glued them together. And um, they're pretty, you know, they're not going anywhere. Okay, have a great week, everyone. Sorry about that. Bye. I hope, um, I hope I have this room straightened out a lot better so that I can um, actually think and get my creativity back because it's just um, I don't work well in clutter I really don't work well in clutter and if you saw this room I don't know how it happened but probably part of the problem is I started putting containers on this table and you know if you have a container it's gonna get filled see what I mean that was probably a big mistake so that's what I've been doing is reducing the paper I don't need any more tiles I am I'm just coming up with more scrap busters. So I hope this helped you too, and I'll see you next time. Have a great week, everyone. Thanks again for the nice comments. Please subscribe and share. Have a great week. Bye.